Good morning, everybody. Just wanted to uh, start by saying thank you. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, uh, thank you for liking and subscribing. Uh, man, the subscribers have, have jumped on here and, and uh, it's blowing up. That's awesome. I'm excited about it. But I wanted to, uh, <clears throat> I know uh, it appears everybody likes the big lifts and I like that uh, uh, for arm wrestling training, whatever it might be. So my background a little bit, uh, I was in bodybuilding, uh, competed in bodybuilding for four years, but prior to that had uh, competed in arm wrestling for 20 years. And uh, so once I got into bodybuilding, I uh, very quickly started being asked questions how I was making gains so quickly. I wound up, I started at 183 pounds within a short period of time. Was uh, uh, girls, calm down. Got some dogs in the house uh, within a short period of time four years I was up to 270 pounds so uh, yeah, almost 90 pounds of muscle went from 13 percent body fat up to 16 percent which is a little increase in body fat uh, but yeah put on that much size uh, I was very happy with it and that was at the age of 35 uh, between the age of 35 and 40 uh, so pretty cool stuff but anyway just wanted to uh, 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 share some nutrition tips for arm wrestling. <clears throat> uh, a lot of times I see people uh, having problems and, and uh, not really understanding why they're having a, a bad workout or possibly a bad experience at the, at the uh, uh, tournament. Uh, so just want to share some nutrition tips with you. So first of all, um, how to build glycogen. And, and what is glycogen? So glycogen is the fuel you use for your muscles. It's a combination of protein and complex carbohydrates. Combined together, uh, creates glycogen, which is fuel for the muscles. So, why is it important to have glycogen? Because without it, in the absence of glycogen, your fat cells aren't strong enough to fuel your muscles in anaerobic activity. You have aerobic activity, which is continuous uh, movement without stopping. Uh, for longer than 12 minutes and then uh, uh, you have anaerobic activity that which requires uh, uh, muscle mass to move it to uh, 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 you know something strenuous <clears throat> in anaerobic activity in the absence of glycogen which is fuel for the muscle it's it's uh, when you've eaten a meal and you have that protein complex carbohydrates converted into fuel um, in the absence of glycogen, the only thing strong enough to fuel your body uh, in the absence of glycogen is muscle cells. So you don't start burning body fat, uh, uh, you know, if you try to do a workout on an empty stomach, you start burning muscle cells. And muscles are, are slow to build and very easy to burn, so you, you want to avoid that like the plague. So <clears throat> glycogen is very important for fuel for the muscle. Uh, so uh, the next question would be well, what time should I eat if I want to get a good workout at uh, so the way the the way the body works you when you the uh, when you first wake up in the morning you have a 30 minute window your metabolism is running fast you have a 30 minute window to uh, eat something to keep your metabolism running fast <clears throat> if your metabolism is running fast then you're going to have a, a better workout so you got a 30 minute window, you, you eat a meal, something preferably with protein and complex carbohydrates in it, and then it takes two hours to fully digest. And uh, uh, so ideally you wanna, you want, you'd want to plan a workout if you're gonna do a morning workout two hours after you ate your first meal. Uh, so there's, uh, I'm gonna talk about the two windows. You have two windows as far as timing to eat throughout the day. The first window is two hours, the second window is three hours. So the reason you want to eat every two to three hours throughout the day is because let's say at, uh, you know, uh, at seven o'clock you ate your first meal and uh, you should have waited till nine o'clock uh, uh, for it to full, fully digest so you could start your workout or, uh, or, or eat something else. So your next meal should be between every two to three hours. Well, let's say you changed your mind, decided, you know what? At uh, 8 o'clock, I'm going to have a, a glass of orange juice. Well, your body's going to see that as food. And what it's going to do is it's going to stop digesting what you ate at 7 and start digesting the, the orange juice that you took in at 8. 
because it hadn't finished digesting. It should have, you should have waited till nine. And so what happens to the rest of the food that didn't get digested that you ate at seven? <clears throat> it gets stored in your fat cells. So if you're wanting to minimize the amount of fat you're going to put on throughout the day and keep your metabolism running fast and, and, and really just treating your body like a, a high performance uh, muscle car, you're going to want to eat at the right times. So that's the reason you don't eat before two hours. The reason you don't go longer than three hours is because what happens is after the three hour mark, let's say you waited, uh, instead of uh, making sure you eat at uh, it'd be eight, nine, 10, instead of uh, eating your next meal at 10 o'clock, you waited till 11. Well, that's four hours in between meals. And what happens at the three hour mark, your body says, hey, guess what? You're starving me. So guess what I'm going to do with the first portion of the next meal you eat? Guess what I'm going to do with the, the first portion of that? I'm going to store it into my fat cells because you're starving me. So again, and, and the bad thing about that is, is that your body's going to, your metabolism is going to slow down immediately following that. And it won't pick back up until the very end of the day. Uh, so you've shot yourself in the foot as far as running, running your body like you would a, a race car, a, you know, high performance race car. And since you're, you know, uh, I would assume the majority of the people I'm talking to on here are athletes and uh, people that are wanting to compete at a high level in arm wrestling, you're going to want to make sure you're getting the most out of your, your, uh, your body every single day so you can uh, continue making gains every day in the gym. Uh, for me, I'm working out twice a day. I'm working out at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, also at fly, 5 in the evening. Uh, five days a week, and then also on, uh, arm wrestle twice a week. So, you know, uh, I was making the mistake. I was using uh, uh, a little bit of protein in my coffee, and I, I forgot. I thought, you know, uh, as long as I've got energy for the workout, I'll be fine. Bad idea. I was actually missing an opportunity to put muscle on for my first workout because I, I wasn't taking in uh, uh, glycogen storage. I wasn't building any glycogen storage. So now... I set my uh, clock for six o'clock, and I get up, eat something first thing in the morning, and so I got a full tank of gas ready for my workout at eight. So guys, I hope this helps. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a question in the comments. And then uh, I'm also on my next video, I wanna share with you the best time to do cardio. So if you've gotta drop a little body fat, uh, uh, I can share with you how to do that. And then we can also talk about um, how to eat for a tournament. Have a great day.